good afternoon everybody and wish you all the happy sunday today i am going to explain you the diagnosis how to diagnose the fibroadenosis of the breast now see many a times we we get the ultrasound of the breast in which the uh, female which is between the age of 18 to 35 say Uh, she feels like some breast engorgement some heaviness of the breast a little bit of pain mild to moderate not even moderate also but just mild just uh, something like there is some pain in the breast no any fever uh, just a young female around 18 to 25 or 30 in most of the cases 18 to 25 only so <clears throat> what is the meaning of fibroadenosis of the breast how how to diagnose uh, this case first of all for that we need to go through the anatomy of the breast first we will go through the radiological anatomy of the breast if and when i will show you the picture you will say that yes i had seen this kind of uh, i had seen this kind of picture many a times but uh, i am not able to understand that what does it mean and uh, in most of the cases uh, the patient is normal just a uh, fine pain and uh, <clears throat> we just don't able to know that what is this uh, picture that we see sometime so here first we will go through the anatomy of the terminal ductal uh, lobular unit now what is the meaning of terminal ductal lobular unit is that this is the anatomy of the breast over here and uh, this is the duct and this is called the terminal ductal lobular unit from here to here okay now this duct they get united to form the collecting duct and they finally um, converge over here in the areolar region now first of all before this explanation i will just show you the video about the picture of this fibroadenosis so that you can get in, in the, into the back of the mind that what i am trying to explain see you had seen this type of picture many a times okay this type of serpentinous tubular hypoechoic area inside the breast with surrounding hyperechoic stroma uh, this we don't see in every case this is called the fibroadenosis of the breast it means that there is a thickening of this uh, the, the wall of this duct this this duct wall becomes thickened and uh, in, in initial phase it is hyperechoic and it is and it can still be considered as normal when this wall layer differentiation this anatomy we can able to differentiate then still it is uh, just early stage of inflammation here this is the terminal ductal lobular unit this is the terminal duct what is the anatomy of this picture is there this is the wall of this duct which is thickened and hyperechoic over here this is the inner lining of the duct when there is a collection of fluid inside this duct you will see this kind of tubular area this is the ductal dilatation this hypoechoic this anechoic area so when there is no any fluid inside this duct you will see this hyperechoic line in the center and uh, this hyperechoic thickened wall of the duct this is the early sign of the inflammation of the duct okay and after that little bit this dilatation of the lumen it occurs if more then the duct you will see a clear fluid inside the duct and still this is not so much inflammation because 
the wall of this duct here is still hyper hyper equal. What I had shown in my video is that you will you are not able to uh, see the duct wall hyperechoic everywhere the whole of this duct has become hypoechoic so the inflammation is rather more uh, higher grade of inflammation that what we had seen in that picture you see that this is the terminal ductal lobular unit and serpentaceous tubular area and this whole of this duct has become more hypoechoic now hyperechoic is the no, is still better but if this duct becomes hypoechoic it means there is more edema whenever in ultrasound the echogenicity decreases it means that there is some fluid component inside the uh, soft tissue so just do the comparative study here this this duct hyperechoic and uh, here this is hypoechoic this is more hypoechoic than that picture this okay and here this uh, inner central line is also visible here in in this video there is no any visibility of the central line okay so this is more uh, inflamed than that picture and uh, here uh, <coughs> this peripheral uh, soft tissue fibro fatty tissue here is normal and here you see in this picture this everything has become white 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 surround this this duct so this is a sign of inflammation okay so and it is a single lobule that is involved single lobule means suppose this whole lobule is affected sometime sometime both lobules are affected sometime whole of this breast is affected so it depends upon the regional or the sector that is involved so this is how we diagnose the fibroadenosis of the breast and what you have to see particularly that the what is the echogenicity of the terminal ductal lobular unit if it is hyperechoic then still it is in the early stage of inflammation if this uh, tubular area is hypoechoic then it is relatively more inflamed and uh, you have to see this surrounding hyperechoic uh, fibrous stroma surrounding this uh, tubular uh, duct, uh, terminal ductal lobular unit so this is how we see and we diagnose uh, this is how we see the picture of this fibroadenosis of breast once again uh, just a short video And if you find any query, you can write in the comment. We can discuss this further if you find any difficulty. You see, this is here. This this is the fat globule. This this fat globules here. This. Okay. We can discuss further if you have any query. Yeah. Thank you.